hi guys welcome back to the channel today my name is Osereme and if you're here for the first time please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I post a video so this is the upper part of a dress I'm making it's actually going to be a, a simple dress with a circle flare skirt part so this is the top part of it I already did um, tutorials of the sleeve and also the princess that part of this um, top you are seeing right now so if you have not seen those videos definitely go back to the channel and check them out this particular video is just focused on how to cut a 360 degree flare which is what i'm going to use as the skirt part so as you can see right now i'm measuring around the waist of my top part um, that's what i'm going to divide by four to place on my actual fabric to get the radius of the skirt part so first thing I'm going to do is to actually fold my fabric into four. After folding your fabric into four, you're going to have something looking like this right now. And what you're going to do is to take your radius from this um, point I just marked here, that I just touched. And remember that we had 27 inches as the measurement I had around my waist. That included the zipper allowance I had at the back so i'm going to as you see me doing like this i'm just dividing that measurement into four places so i've gotten the measurement i need that's after dividing 27 inches into four so what i'm going to do is to just place it um curve it around from the middle point here like this just make a curve like this just get a rough point and mark it and then you're just going to measure from the center point to that point and whatever you had there you're going to use it to mark all the way around so for this particular one after doing that i had four inches so right now i'm just marking four inches all the way around until the other end of the fabric so after marking it i just placed my tape around it as you can see just to be sure that it's um, exactly what i wanted and it came out exactly um the length i want so now we're going to take the length of the skirt part from this point here to the end and for this particular end you can see that i am looking for 22 inches so it's not going to be enough at that point so i'm going to start from the other end that is up to 22 inches so most times guys you are going to have the fabric being short so i'm going to share with you guys in this video how you can join your flare when it's short so basically i'm just marking 22 inches right now from our waistline so as you can see the measurements i'm taking that's this skirt part i'm not taking it for from the top of the fabric i'm taking it from that first line we made when we divided our waist measurement by four so that's how you do it even though it's for a sleeve or for whatever you are doing when you're taking the length of the sleeve or the length of the skirt you start taking your measurement from the first line you made which is for this particular one the waist point so now we're gradually getting to where the fabric ends and from here this is where my 22 inches ended so from this other part um after this place it's not up to 22 here so i'm going to add uh, another piece of fabric to this other side but first we are going to just cut along the lines that we have made already so this part here is the part that didn't get to 22 so i'm going to measure from the waist down um, to where 22 is supposed to be which is here so i just counted the number of inches that i needed and it's extra four inches so i'm just going to place another piece of fabric here and this piece actually is um more than four inches so it's just perfect to do the work so that part of the flare that is not as long as the other part what i'm basically going to do as you see me doing like this is to place another piece of fabric on it like this just the same way you're seeing me doing it like this and we're just going to head over to the sewing machine and stitch it down just here 
and I'm going to do it for the both sides. So guys, after stitching it down, this is what I have. So you see that um, that part now is as long as 22 inches. So now I'm just going to make a curve um, with my scissors. I just did this with freehand, but you can still measure it out. It's still the same thing. Um, so I just made a curve to meet the other part of the circle. And now this part is fully done. Then for the other side as well, I did the exact same thing. So for this one, I decided to measure it out while I was cutting it so that um, some people who might be confused with the way I just did it um, without measuring it out will understand what I'm doing. So I'm just placing my tape around and I'm just using my scissors to cut it to wherever, um, to meet wherever 22 inches is. So now this is how it all came out. So this is my full circle. This is how to cut a 360 degree circle guys because most times if you are using Ankara especially it will always have that cutting so you need to be able to just add another piece of fabric to it to make it a full 360 degrees flare so this is done what i'm just going to do is to cut it out on one side because i am going to join it from the back and from the top part you saw that the back was open which is our zipper allowance so i'm just going to cut one part of it which is what i'm going to which is going to actually serve as our zipper uh, opening or zipper allowance whatever you um, decide to call it so after opening it up this is the full skirt part of the circle you see that everything is in place and you don't even notice the part where i joined it that's the beauty of this i absolutely love how this came out remember that i told you guys that this was going to be a gown um that i was making a gown so this is the top part of it so i'm just going to place it on the flare which is the skirt part as you see me doing like this and i'm just going to head over to the sewing machine and what i'm going to do is to join the top and the skirt part together so guys after joining the skirt part to it this is what it looks like so if we flip it over to the back you see that the back is open because we've not attached our zipper and we've not stitched down the ends like join it together so right now what i'm going to do is to just um place my zipper on the back and then i'm going to finish up the end of the dress and then i will hem the um end of it and that will basically be all for this dress place the zipper and hem the end so guys after i was through with everything this is what it looks like so you can see the full 360 degree circle here very beautiful i love how this came out it's really very cute and you know that this tutorial started off by um, me making the princess that part of it which is the top part so if not if you've not seen that video you should definitely go and check it out and i also have a video of me making the sleeves as well so if you don't know how to make puff sleeve you should definitely go and check that one out as well so thank you so much guys for watching the video today i don't have a dummy so this would have looked very beautiful on a dummy but then this is how it looked on me and i couldn't even get like a really cool picture but anyways i will see you guys in the next one subscribe and please turn on the notification bell